guide for what we in season nine for Diablo three. So I've done this in like the last day and a half. It's not overly difficult, um, especially if you just sort of want to um, spend a weekend, chill, grind out some levels, drink a shit ton of iced coffee. Anyway, I'll um, get into the game and I'll show you what I've been doing. This will get this will get you through 45 griffs really efficiently, up to 50 griffs at this point for me. I can do up to 55 since the sustain, which is a bit of an issue. But let's have a look at this thing. Oh, come on, Diablo. Oh, no, don't join. No, it's not joining. Good. Okay. So, what we have here is an old school Diablo 2 bloody Hammerton. The Hammerton. So, what have I done with this build? What does it look like? Well, let's I require more wrath. Ignore that. It's because we're not hitting anything yet. So, how do we get to this build in Diablo 3? And this is actually quite a good build. From what I've seen online, you can get these up farming Griff 9s. At uh, 90s, I mean. Um, they're pretty OP. Anyway, let's have a look at the build. So, first of all, let's have a look at. Let's have a look at the items you'll need first, actually. So you're going to need the the light kit, basically. So crown of light, heart of light, mountain of light, will of light, foundation of light, and towers of light. So that that's pretty much your starting kit up. You really can't do this without that. The main reason is if you have a look, there is a six-piece buff, which gives you 1,250% increased damage on blessed hammer, and that's pretty much going to make absolute beast and I've been hitting about six to seven billion in crit on these. There's different modifiers and buffs that you can play around with to get that to work but that's about the highest I've gotten on to so it's pretty good at taking down the, the higher end of enemies. So what are what weapons do we need? Well first of all we need Johanna's Augment. So that gives us an increase that increases our attack speed and damage of blessed hammer by hundred percent. Obviously you need to chuck a crit down gem and that as you can see, like I only, I only completely lucked out in buying this one. A lot of the time if you go to Kadala after you do um uh, rest and bank in your blood charge, you'll get these pretty easily. Um, next you need Guard of Joe Johanna, which gives you blessed hammer the damage is increased by two hundred and fifty percent for the first three enemies. It's basically the first three enemies get face face fucked basically. So that's your uh, that's your speed and damage side dealt with. So what else will you need? Well you're gonna need Gabriel's fan braces. This is simply because you're gonna eat through wrath like um mofo. This is gonna give you an uh, this particular roll I got here gives me ninety eight percent of the wrath plus it's really fun and went three or fewer enemies and hit by blessed hammer. So if you don't hit something you get a refund. So you can just throw hammers all day, pretty much, as long as you've got some sort of buff. Stand about. Um, so rings, I have restraint and focus. The main reason I have these is um, it gives you the buff where if you, when you hit with a resource, spending attack, it deals 50% increased damage for the first five seconds. So that's going to give you double the DPS of, of what you need to churn down enemies. So that's a must, and obviously. Your amulet doesn't necessarily matter as much, but this one I'm using in particular because it gives me the indestructible passive. So if you know how to farm a Hellfire amulet, um, it's probably worth getting that. So, oh, and belt. We've just thrown a crown um, buff belt. This is the best belt that I can find so far, and you get a 25% buff speed boost. So that's good if you're just chasing the tail and trying to farm up. So what am I using for gems? Uh, obviously cooldown reduction, 12.5% in the helm, um, double 70 out of resist, um, royal uh, diamonds, all strength in the armor, and I'm using a Bane of Stricken, which I've gotten to level 35, just to do more deeps. Uh, in this build I'm using a Molten Lord of the Gizzard because I regen 38,000 light per second and in the high level you're going to be getting hit a lot there. You can use swiftness which makes you attack faster and I haven't tested that, it's probably a bit better 
item to use for this. Um, and finally, this um, esoteric alteration. So that's going to be your demon and pretty much going to make you a, a beast when you get the low health so you can do those heavy sustains. So, that's this. So we've got yeah, our standard stock D7. I, I wouldn't pay too much attention to this number because it doesn't account for all the rest of the snacks. Toughness and recovery is pretty high. And on top of that, it's like we've got our Canaan's Cube or we throw on here. So Canaan's Cube wise, we've got Faithful Memory. Ah, yeah, so basically when you hit everything with um, Falling Sword, you're going to get 6 stacks of where Blessed Hammers can do up to 60% increased damage in 10 seconds. 10 stacks. Um, it's quite powerful. That's where you're going to make your biggest crits and knock your, your, uh, your bosses down. Actually, this one is probably not the best item to take at this point. I'm looking at switching this out for what was its name? Uh, where are you? Where are you? For the furnace, which gives you your percentage increased damage on elites, which is going to help you churn through those, those higher level griefs quicker. So, second item, uh, illusory boots. You can really do whatever you want with these. Uh, the other one to use is hammer jammers if you're going to use uh, shield glare, and that just means when you stun everything, you do more crit, more damage. Um, example being, you do 400% increased damage on less hammers when you use a blind immobilize or stun. Um, that's going to work if you have the right belt, but I don't have the right belt, so it doesn't work yet. And a must is the Obsidian Ring of the Zo uh, Zodiac. This is because for everything that you hit, you're going to do... Um, it, it's going to reduce your cooldowns, which I'll explain in the next minute or so, is really important with this build to keep your um, keep your resource coming in. So that's what you're going to use there if you're going with the build that I've done in particular. Um, Skills-wise, Blessed Hammer Limitless, um, so you're going to have more spill on Hammer's Fallen Sword, it really doesn't matter what you use, like some people will use uh, Part of the Clouds because it does stun damage. Actually, that's probably a better... There we go, that's why we use that. Oh. That's a revelation right there. Okay, so scratch that. I'm on the fly going to switch this build because this is going to do even more damage. The stun off that is going to... Um, to increase increase the, the damage of my um, output with hammer jammers, so that's going to absolutely crack face. Anyway, so we use that um, iron skin, obviously, uh, because we want to be able to move through everything really quickly, including when we get locked down and whatnot. So we're going to use flash, and that's going to help us get out of um, binds and whatnot, move around in the enemies because we don't want to get caught with a, a, a blessed hammer build. Provoke is how you're going to generate your wrath, so this is an important one. You need to have the taunt so that you get wrath for everything taunted. So when you go into a group, you just drop wrath in the center. Laws of, Val Laws of Valor, um, you're going to use anything to buff your critical, so you're going to use critical. And Akrat's Champion, Profit, because you are going to take a metric shit ton of damage. And having that survivability with this is going to help. Uh, next we use Finery for 1.5% strength for every gem socketed. Fervor because obviously using a one-handed weapon so you want to do increased speed. Blunt which is going to increase your Blessed Hammer damage by 20% and Holy Cause. You cannot run this build without Holy Cause. That is because of that 1% heal or up to 1% of heal up to 1% of your um, total life for every Holy damage prop that you put out. Hammers provide holy damage, so that sort of makes sense. You're going to constantly heal as you fight, you, so you'll need that. Um, that's pretty much for the build side, so let's see if we can open up a grip and see if I can put my mouth on my mouth is. So, in the case of this, just because this is an example of a sort of mid-tier build right now, I haven't worked out all the chinks in this chain yet. But um, we'll run a 45 Griff, which is Toy and 10 is relatively up there, so we should be able to Let's do that. Prove yourself worthy. So, straight off the mark, we're going to get in the So, pretty hard. We just smashed everything the first second that we walked into that Griff and took down bosses. That's where we're going to so now we can do the river. That was a three build So 
we're just going to work our way to the like this and with the power pylon. Thousand million crit, which is two billion. So we are doing this. Whoa, twenty billion crit. That's probably the biggest stuff I've ever seen. So you're just gonna melt. Take all the damage because you're healing constantly. Yeah, yeah that works perfectly when you get stuck. Yet. 
so that was pretty fast. Um, this build is just ridiculous. I've never tried a hammer in an D3 before. And uh, I want it does not disappoint at all. So. When the champions of ages past have proven themselves, I would attempt to improve the clarity of one of their chains. 30. Every time we do this, we get if temporary you damage. When you do these higher level griffs, as well, you pretty much don't have to drop all. Stone I'm lock. That is. Oh, these are, that's a black dot. <laughs> I'm returning so, to town. Let's go back this and see how long this griff took. Impressive. Under six minutes for a level 45 griff. Not bad. That's pretty fast. I think I've done level 50 in about 721, which isn't too bad. Anyway. Oh yeah, and if we want to go here, pretty much when you're doing your Paragon points, you want to max out Wrath, max out Movement Speed, chuck a bunch into um, Strength, obviously, uh, Cooldown Reduction, chuck another point in that there, right there, Resistance and Life Regen, and you want to have max out this one first, and then start working on either, or I'd probably start to put an area da damage more than life per hit. Anyway, if you like this video, like and subscribe, and uh, Thanks for watching.